Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006. Uh, we're going to talk now more specifically about metal hydration. So talking about metals in water, uh, a metal in the water is not just Fe3+, it's hydrated. That means it's got, generally speaking, about six water molecules surrounding it in the octahedral shape. So all metal cations in water are hydrated. So we can, the metal can be M, and it would be H2OX, usually 6, H2O6, and with a certain charge on this. Sometimes we write that as just M brackets AQ, equated metal ion, but it really means about six waters in the first coordination shell. Because that's how many, it depends on the size of the metal, but generally most metals are quite similar in size. Transition metals, the D electrons are filling up, so their, their size does change, but not radically. Now, um, it turns out that hydrated metal ions are acidic. Hydrated metal ions are acidic in water. How does that work? Okay, well here's the metal ion. Uh, we can say it's plus three in the gas phase. This is just a theoretical thing. And here's a water molecule with its two lone pairs. Not very well drawn on this slide. And the water molecule uh, attaches onto the metal ion by donating its lone pair. This is a kind of coordination complex uh, because the metal ion is positively charged. It doesn't have electrons to share, but it can certainly uh, take over quite happily some of the electrons on the oxygen in its lone pair. And uh, that forms a bond between the metal and the oxygen, a dative bond, a co coordination bond. Now, whenever the oxygen has only a limited amount of electrons in play in its valence shell. So if you start taking electrons from the oxygen and they go towards the metal, something is going to happen to the other bonds, the OH bonds. And in fact, what happens is a weakening. These OH bonds get weakened by the formation of this uh, metal-oxygen bond. And the larger the charge on this metal, the larger the charge on this metal, the stronger will be the dative bond, and the weaker, or the, the greater the weakening will be in this OH bond, well, either of them will do. Which means to say, if this OH bond is weakened, this uh, equated species will become acidic, because the hydrogen is more likely to drop off. Remember, an acid is something which is, uh, 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 hydrogen, uh, hydrogen ion donor in the Bronsted-Lowry theory, H+. Okay, so we, this effect, uh, the acidity of an equated metal ion, it can be measured with a pH meter, obviously, and is uh, the, the, the bigger the charge, the more acidic the solution. So acidity increases with charge, monovalent, divalent, trivalent. Um, so that's good, but how acidic can it get? So let's look at iron 3 plus, and here are some K constants. Iron 3 plus, 6 waters, iron 3 plus, 5 waters, and then one of the waters uh, loses its hydrogen, becoming OH2 plus, right? So it's 3 plus, H2O, and then one of the hydrogens pops off, so it becomes OH2 plus, plus hydrogen. We haven't shown the plus hydrogen here. And that's got a K constant of 10 to the minus 2.2. So it's quite large for the first hydrogen to pop off. Then the second one can pop off. Second hydrogen, that's got a K constant of 3.5. Then the third one, minus 6.3. Then we have a, a non-charged species, Fe, H2O3, OH3, zero charge. This is a complex molecule. And finally, um, another electron can pop off, 10 to the minus 9.6. Oh, there's a big jump. There's a big jump from 3 to 6 and 6 to 9 here. So basically, it becomes increasingly difficult to remove hydrogen ions after the first one. The first one's relatively easy, 10 to the minus 2.2. Oh, then it becomes 10 times harder uh, to remove the next one. Then it becomes about 1,000 times harder, and then a little bit more than 1,000 times harder. It's quite understandable because... Uh, every time you are removing a hydrogen, 
Well, uh, this is a positively charged species, so one way to think of hydrogen being ejected is the fact that hydrogens which are positively charged don't like to be near positive charges, so this hydrogen wants to get off. Here's a plus one here, okay, it's not as positive as three plus, but it's, and it's harder to get rid of it. This one is a molecular complex, it's quite hard to get rid of it to form the H2O2, OH4 minus, this has been a bit skew whiff in terms of its alignment. So that's how it works, guys. See ya.